what is going on ladies and gentlemen we are back again with another 90 day fiance video and this one is all about paul and karini but before we get into it let's start off by giving a big massive shout out to every single person that is a member of the channel that is a member of patreon and that is a subscriber and also at the same time i must say ladies and gentlemen trigger warning this video is about domestic violence so if you're someone that has suffered with that sadly i do understand if you need to walk away from the video right now so therefore you are not triggered but when it comes to Paul and Karini, we know that these two have had a very disgusting past. So disgusting that they've ended up even losing their children the last time that I checked. But when it comes to Paul and Karini, at this moment in time, Karini has a restraint order against Paul. Paul, on the other hand, because he is a very interesting human being, he has decided to try and appeal against this restraint order because he wants to say that the claims are false and not true. And well, we now have the results of what went down. Now, as you can see right here, ladies and gentlemen, in this uh, copy of the, uh, or whatever you call these things, I do apologize. Um, now, of course, as you can see here, it does say though at the bottom, um, it started by saying appeals from a domestic violence order, DVO, of the Jefferson Circuit Court Family Division, restraining him from contact with KMSA, so KMS, um, for three years. Now, of course, this is basically saying that Paul is not allowed near Karini for three years. Now, Paul being Paul, he doesn't obviously agree with the claims against him and most certainly does not want to have a restraining order where he cannot see Karini for three years. So what does Paul do? Paul does what Paul does best, and that is appeal. So as we go through these little clips here, ladies and gentlemen, now all these little bits here actually explain exactly the details of what has gone down. But I'm not going to be reading that stuff because that stuff is way too graphic. Okay? And it doesn't really need to be shared because it's just. Mm -hmm. But as you can see here, where it says conclusion, the circuit court found appealees' um, claims of sexual abuse to be credible, more likely than to be true. And um, the finding of domestic violence is supported by the record and the law, and is and is sufficient to sustain the DVO. Accordingly, we found no error and affirm the order of the Jefferson Circuit Court. And of course, within translation, this is confirming that even though Paul tried to go against the restraining order and against the claims, he has been obviously denied. The claims are true because, as you saw, there is enough evidence to support that the claims are true and that Karini has been telling the truth when it comes to Paul and his behavior towards her. And Lord knows his behavior towards the children as well. But hey, let's not get into that part. But at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, at this moment in time, Paul is still got a restraint order against him, but he cannot see Karini for three years. Now, of course, this definitely does not help them when it comes to getting their children back. But at the same time, though, do they deserve to have their children? Well, if you ask me, I'm going to say hell to the freaking no, because these two are very toxic people. Paul is someone that we knew from the very get go was unhinged. I mean, I remember the scene when he ran away. The way he did like a lot. Mm, that was very uncomfortable. And also with Karin now, and she just doesn't know how to keep her mouth shut. The problem is with Paul and Karin is that they are the perfect trigger for each other. Karin knows how to push the buttons because she's Karini, and Paul knows how to retaliate because he's Paul. And which is why we're now in a situation where there is a restraint order against him because there was enough claims to prove that he had been obviously unnecessary. The thing that I cannot fathom sometimes is that when it comes to domestics, I don't know how people can still walk the streets and not really pay any consequences that involve some sort of jail time or community service or something. This thing for me just is just the most baffling thing ever. That that is that that is just the bottom line. But ladies and gentlemen, please let me know your thoughts when it comes to Paul and Karina's situation. And just like myself in particular, are you happy that the claim or that the appeal has actually been denied? Because if it had been approved, I just don't see no good out of that. You know, and I think to be honest with you, after the three years I wouldn't be surprised if the claim, if 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 uh, the restraint order was put back on again, because Paul. Nonetheless, though, let me know your thoughts, and we'll talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and peace.